Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome to Unmechanical. This is my next Let's Play, Indie Let's Play, rather. Now this is a game developed by the company, I do not remember what they're called, but they were developed, uh, this game is developed by the same company that made The Ball. If you're familiar with that indie game, they came out eh, a couple of years ago now. That game was like a physics-based first-person shooter, ball manipulation control type, almost experiment, if you will. Now this is their sequel game. Um, on Mechanical. It's, uh, it's about this little robot guy right there. And, uh, the story will reveal itself once I get a new game started. I, what I've done so far is I've basically watched the intro to become familiar with the character and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. But any, you know, any indie game that comes out that's like this, I, I love. I, you know, I like indie games. That's my favorite type of game because they're short, for one, they're cheap, for another, and they're usually filled with a lot of character, which... I feel a lot of games are missing nowadays. But, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I've been waiting for this game for about a week and a half now ever since I heard about it. And, uh, you know, it just popped up on my radar. I'm like, hey, you know, I gotta LP that. That'll be a lot of fun. So, you no, know, uh, let's get started. Yes. And I really like the soundtrack so far. It's like this weird techno-y, industrial sounding type noise. Well, there's our main character right there. Uh, F1, what does that do? F1. Makes him think. Oh, kind of. Oh, it gives you a hint if you're stuck. I see. So you use the basic uh, WASD setup to move your guy around. As you see, the water has some really nice elements to it. Like that. Uh, where are we going? Up here? Okay. Rock your mind! <laughs> okay, cool. So, it seems that the mouse, the only role the mouse plays thus far, is to control the, uh, the tractor beam. Oh, and you can. I'm stuck here. You can use either the left or right mouse button, it does the same thing. Sneak through there. And I really like that his legs just kind of dangle. <laughs> oh, his light <laughs> the lights turn on and off as he hits things. That's and you see nice touches like that in any indie game will make me happy. So, indie developers who are not watching, who will probably never watch, I'll do that. Because that's really nice. I like that. There we go. Open the door. Hey! Open the oh the doors. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so go down here, and apparently this game isn't very long, which, like I said before, I like, because, oh, we need a rock, uh, because I do not particular, particularly like incredibly long games, uh, you know, I like them when they're certain games. Zelda, love them, because they're long, you know, that sort of thing. Um, certain shooters, love it because it's long. Bioshock, that's a 
relatively long game, so I mean, I, I like it. But, you know, games like this, they don't need to be long. You know, keep it short. It's not meant to be a long game. Um. Come here. Oh. There we go. Oh, down the tube we go. <laughs> I keep hitting my head off. <laughs> keep hitting my head off the pipes. Ow. There we go. that do for me? Oh, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna grab a rock and f throw it up there so it can't get through. Oh, no rock! Come back! Stay! There we go. So if we pull this plunger... Ah! What do we do with you? Take it! I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do with this rock now. Kind of fling it backwards at him. Take your rock back. Or take your ball back. No, just shoots it back at you, okay. Um. Do I bring it back up here? I wouldn't imagine so, but I mean, maybe. Well, let us see. No, I'm just going backwards like an idiot. Go, go this way. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to drop the ball down there and see what it does. See how far it goes. Keep going, little guy. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I'm not sure what to do. Because I don't really see anything to place it on. Unless. Ah, tricky. Look at that. Had it hiding down there rocks out of the way. The ball, stay over there. Now you can fall down there, buddy. There we go. Cool. I like it. Oh no, we got a boulder chasing us. Can you get stopped? Stop here. Ah, I did. Okay. What does this do? Oh, it's like Simon says. I used to play this. Or is it Simon? I think it's just Simon. Simon says is when you when you're playing with people. It's like Simon. Again. I'll pull it again, don't worry. Green, blue, yellow, yellow. And apparently, I've read somewhere that if you associate colors and sounds and things with music, like that, like green, blue, yellow, yellow, you'll remember it better. Which, I don't know if it's true, because I'm not a scientist, so I don't know. Let's try it here. Blue, 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 <laughs> green, green. That's just easy though. Blue, 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 oh, green, oh, green. Awesome. Me. It's like R2D2. 
Okay. So we got a ball of light. What do we do with this? Uh, you know, actually. Got a little top here. Ah! Don't crush my light bulb. And down you go. Down you go. Okay. Oh, a little bit of lag. It's bad. And this game is actually a very nice looking game. And to give you, a, give you an idea, I'm playing it at 720p in a windowed mode on low settings on graphics. Yeah, because I tried playing it on high settings on graphics to record it and it just didn't work. But there's no medium ground, which is weird to me. Like, there's no, like, medium level graphics. Hey, come here, what are you? Hey! Uh. Uh. I guess I'm coming out. Okay. So, buttons. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Okay. I'm assuming we want all these lights on. And I saw cubes back here. So, let's go grab some cubes. Let's go. So, this one. Okay. Okay, every other one. Okay. Then we want that one. Okay, yeah. Let's grab this. And then I'm assuming we need that big pole because... How else are we going to push him down, right? Oops, wrong, <laughs> wrong key. Yeah, there we go. So let's go grab that pole, or that pipe, or T-bar, or I-bar, or whatever that is. Oh. oh my god, how can he even drag that thing? Let's place it on top of all of these. Awesome! Give me back my buddy. The door opened for us. Nice. So this looks like a lock. Like a lock type thing. So that spins it like that. So this should bring it back to the original position. No. I don't even know how many. There we go, okay. Let's do one of these. I don't even know what these do. I'm just gonna pull it. Oh. Hang on. Here we go, this might be good. Ah, oh, it doesn't get it. This should get it here, though. There we go. Nice. Give me my ball. You're not gonna take my ball away from me again. Would you ever walk into something that opened like that and looks like that? No. It just looks too sketchy. Nothing, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, drop this thing. Hang on, come here. Come here. You need to go down in your hole, I'm sorry. It's just how the game works. We need to go deeper. Nice. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it quits here for this episode. Uh, I'm going to keep this game's episode short because the game is short. So, you know, it just kind of works out that way. And I'm thinking that it's sort of divided up into when achievements are unlocked, like chapter type deals or you know, level type deals or something like that. But uh, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of this game in the comments below. Uh, give me star rating if you enjoyed it and always make sure to subscribe because i like it i like seeing the subscriptions go up but anyway i want to thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time in whatever i play see ya